All right, so in this video, I'm going to go through the advanced French um, and what to do if they go bishop d3. So remember, we always attack the d4 pawn. That is the target. So here, queen b6. And now, first off, we're going to look at bishop d3. So if bishop d3, um, we want to take on d4 after the bishop moves. So bishop d3 or bishop e2, we take on d4, take. Now do not take this pawn. If you take this pawn, you will lose. You're in a line of fire, and bishop check is going to win your queen. So we want to win this pawn. That is always the goal in the advanced French. So here, what you do is you go bishop to d7. So now you're now if they castle, you can actually just win this pawn straight up. Um, and we're gonna go more in depth in a separate video. Um, and if bishop c2, um, so here, another thing to know in the advanced French is this is generally your worst piece, and this is generally their best piece. So if you can trade off this bishop. Um, you have a great version of a advanced French. So what we do here is we go knight b4. So knight b4, if they just castle, we're gonna take, queen takes, rook c8, let's say he moves the queen somewhere. Like if he goes queen d3, for example, now this bishop becomes a monster. You go bishop b5, I mean, I get a monster that dies real soon. You're gonna take this rook <coughs> and the monster did get a rook. So we would be happy here. Um, but basically, no matter what he does, even knight c3, for example, you can go bishop b5, and now your bishop is alive, as opposed to stuck inside the chain. Of course, he cannot take this because the queen is hanging. Um, so yeah, so uh, so knight b4, so bishop c2, knight b4. If he tries to keep this bishop with bishop b3, what you can do here is go queen a6. So bishop b5 is also good in this variation because he can't castle, but queen a6 is a computer move. Um, and now your threat one he cannot castle and two knight d3 check is very very strong so let's just say for example here knight d3 check anywhere here he's going into a line of fire you can take here you could take here um, you're just winning um, and if he goes like king d2 for example avoiding line of fire um, you just take on f2 and you are completely winning here so that is what you're going to do in this bishop d3 variation